Hello, my name is Sharon Wheelis from Platform Services and IBM Technology Solutions team. Our team spends a lot of energy identifying technology in opportunities and specifically comparing features between hyperscalers. This is episode one in a collection series where I will compare the architectural components between AWS and IBM. In episode one, we will be comparing storage features. Every cloud architecture concept contains storage components. AWS offers a series of flexible storage ranging from high performance systems to low cost archive storage. AWS also offers Cloud Endure, Elastic DR, AWS Sync, and AWS Backup which act as disaster recovery and AWS service synchronization services. IBM Cloud covers both object and block-based storage options with a range of hot and cold options for your data. IBM Cloud Backup is suited for enterprise level backup and disaster recovery while also offering mass data migration capable of moving petabytes of data securely. When it comes to storage capabilities, cloud services not only have to be accessible, but they have to be fast. Outside of an internet connection, one of the biggest metrics that will impact your service performance is disk speed. We're looking for hosting providers that can offer multiple storage solutions for our customers, ranging between long-term archival storage and instant access. Let's see what both IBM Cloud and AWS have to offer. Both hyperscalers offer close to the same level of performance and availability. At this time, AWS offers slightly better input-output operations per second, or IOPS, and allows for slightly larger volume size. These numbers are based on standard tiers, so we can do an apples-to-apples -apples compare. IBM Cloud Block Storage features high availability, encryption, snapshots, rapid scaling, flexible capacity, and user tags. AWS Block Storage features in include the ability to attach to an instance, automatic replication, high availability, high performance, and elastic volumes for scalability. Of course, so much more you might want to take into consideration when you're comparing the two hyperscalers. Both platforms offer hot, cool, and cold storage options and come with their own versions of intelligent tiering. This feature analyzes your data's usage and moves it between three types of storage based on when it was last accessed or rules that you can define on your own. This will help free up your time and avoid having to audit which bucket your data is being stored in every month. IBM boasts over things like fast data transfer, flexible storage classes, resiliency options, immutable data, and the data replication features. Amazon S3 top features include capabilities to attend metadata tags to objects, move and store data across the S3 storage classes, configure and enforce data access controls, secure data against unauthorized users, run big data analytics, and the ability to see users, usage and activity trends across your organization. It's worth noting that IBM Cloud offers 50% more max data per object than AWS. If your cloud usage heavily revolves around moving massive blocks of unstructured data, this could be a noteworthy detail. When you compare IBM Cloud and AWS, it's a close call between both platforms. AWS and IBM have a vast amount of resources and data centers all around the world, offering them both global coverage. Both are great choices. With the IBM Cloud sometimes leading to be a slightly better option in some cases. Smaller organizations 
Looking to test their applications and services on IBM Cloud will find its no strings attached trial and simple interface welcoming. The option to move into a pay-as-you-go model from the free trial sometimes feels natural once you're ready to do so. AWS is a solid option for larger companies who may have experience hosting applications already in the cloud. They have a free trial account that offers three flexible options allowing you to sample and test 85 plus AWS services. There's also a gigantic pool of skilled resources in the market for AWS. Each episode, we will add to this table and generate a matrix to help identify the options available in IBM Cloud and AWS for each feature and quickly see hyperscaler strengths and gaps. This will be a great asset to have in our tool belt at the completion of the series. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.